praise the Lord. I welcome you to the presence of the Lord. <clears throat> Today, the 21st day of the month of July, the year is fast running. But we are grateful to God for the grace that he has given unto us to be alive and well. I want you to just come to his presence tonight with a heart full of gratitude. And uh, we are going to thank God by the grace of God. We are going to pray for the church. In the process, we are going to pray for our outreach. God will help us. And uh, we are going to pray for our nation. We are going to pray for ourselves. But as we start tonight, I want you to open the scripture with me to the psalm that all of us know, Psalm 124. And I just want to go through the eight verses just to prepare our heart to appreciate God for his goodness. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have quickly swallowed us up alive when their wrath was kindled against us. Verse 4. When the waters, then the waters would have overwhelmed us and swept us away. The torrents will have gone over us. Then the proud waters will have gone over us. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We are like a bird escaped from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. I, I want you to come into his presence tonight and begin to appreciate him. This particular psalm describes the experiences of the children of Israel. And David, recognizing that in the life of the people he led, and he put them to paper, put pen to paper to write this psalm. All of us are faced with one form of crisis situation in life, individually, and even as a ministry, as a church, challenges are all over. But God always provides a way of escape each and every one of us. I want you to come with that attitude of gratitude tonight and begin to appreciate God for his goodness. Father, we are grateful for your goodness to us. We thank you as an assembly, as a ministry, individually and collectively, Lord, for your goodness to us. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your daily provisions. We thank you for protection, for our going out and our coming in. God has been faithful. I have been having reasons to go to it, but on a weekly basis, at least in the last one year or one and a half years. Only a few weeks I've missed without going. All I can say that God is faithful and God is good. I, I want you to just come to his presence tonight and appreciate him. I, I want you to count his blessings tonight and name them one by one. The miracle of sleeping and waking up on a daily basis I want you to give him thanks tonight. I, the, 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 the miracle of protection over our children that are all over the world. The miracle of his provisions for their need in the midst of economic crisis around the world. Ah, I want you to appreciate him. Even those of, them, those of us that are here. The miracle of living and doing well in the midst of economic woes as declared by the people of the world, and God is making a way for you and I. I, I want you to appreciate him tonight. 
I want him to give him thanks. He deserve all the glory. He deserve all the honor. I, I want you to just give him praise tonight. Re Maseru Bakanda Baliri. AJ Medu Banta Raben Kudim Baliben Rubasara Bakuda. Ye Maseru Bakanda Balimbe Rubande Rubasara Bakada. AJ Madi Ben Lubare Mekuda Ban Liberuba. The scripture says, Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and the earth. He has been our source. He has been everything to us. Masi me du ban leberu makanda bayimbe jubadila. Ete me du ban leberu makanda bayimbe jubande belu masara bakuda. Kaka di matara. Re me kende belumba se ruban ye belu bare me kudri balira. Re me se belum batara bakunda bayimbe jubadila. Esi me jubande belum bare me kunda balira. Every situation of life, the scripture says we are like a bird. Escape from the snare of the fowlers. Each road that you and I pass through. When you hear the story of what has just happened where you pass, you will be amazed. You will go through some areas, even in the night in the street of Lagos. And you will hear just by your bus stop, I was robbed. This was happened. They broke my, the glass of my car. And all sorts of woes. But God allow you to go through those places without any event. And we just assume that they are normal. God will recognize your hand upon our life. We recognize your hand of protection. We recognize your hand of provision. We recognize your hand of continuous blessing in our life. We recognize your hand concerning our life in terms of good health. We recognize your hand upon our life in every sphere, O Lord Almighty. We do not take your grace for granted tonight. We have come with a heart full of gratitude to appreciate you. Father, O Lord, even in this assembly, in the entire Stone Church, Lagos, you have kept everyone's soul in this ministry. Baba, we are grateful to you, Lord. Baba, we acknowledge you that it is only by your grace that we are not consumed. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We appreciate you, good Father, excellent God. Meli mare mekunda baim besuru bakanda baila. Je meduru basara bakanda balim beru matara bakanda baila. Ye mesuru bakanda balili li matara banka da banli beruba. Yaba je meduru bakanda balira. The, the, the scripture says, "Enter his gate with thanksgiving." And to his presence, we praise his tonight. Ye masara bakunda ban liberu matara bakanda ban ye belu. Ese me du bantara banka dembe yuban jibrinu masara bakada. Ese me ke de ben lubante rubanka da ban liberu masara bakada. Ji madere besuru bakanda bali. Kaka di metere bekede. Benke di masara bakuda. Appreciate him tonight. Give him praise. Give him thanks tonight. Manli meru makanda bayim beju basara bakuda. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I, I want you to begin to hand over this atmosphere to the hand of the Lord tonight. I want you to begin to commit tonight's service into the hand of the Almighty. Father, we look unto you tonight, O Lord, and we look unto you for your presence in this place. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will honor us with your presence in this place and do which only you have proposed to do in this place in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, when you call a meeting like this, you have your eternal purpose for it. For every soul that you have ordained that will be here tonight. We ask, O oh Lord, by and at home, O oh Lord, you will visit us. Says you do not call the children of Israel to serve you in vain. And therefore, we have come with great expectation tonight. That the purpose for which you have brought us into this place will be established in the life of each and every one of us. In the name of the loving Lord Jesus, Spirit of the living God, we call for your presence in this place. Meli masara bakunda baila, hajiabe du banta re mekunda ban liberu, re mese ruban kadamba liben rubadara bakedi, eji madi ben lubare mesuru bakanda balira. Every powers and principalities that make people come into a meeting but take their attention and their presence away from there. We address you in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus tonight. 
and we say you are banished from this environment in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The spirit that buy, the spirit that sell, the spirit that make people to be available but not to be present. Physically present but spiritually they are far gone. Father, we address them tonight. We say the power of the Lord bring every soul, spirit and body into his presence in this meeting tonight. And we will benefit maximally from his presence in the mighty name of Jesus. The purpose for which he has brought us here tonight will be established and be done. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we commit every aspect of the service from the prayer session, O oh Lord, to praise, worship, and to the word that you have prepared for your people. That, Daddy, only your glory will be shown. Only your power will be displayed. Only your presence will be manifested. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, you will give utterances to every minister in this place tonight. And specific work for specific people for specific purposes, you will release to the life of each and every one in this place tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, for everyone that has contact with this service tonight, your word will search them out from their secret places and you will touch their soul, spirit and body in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, your word says we should ask, we will, we will have, and we, you will give, and we should seek, we will find. We should knock, it will be opened unto us. We look unto you for a touch tonight. We look unto you for your word that we deliver and set free in this place tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, everyone battered up and down. But they have come to the place of refuge tonight. We ask, O oh Lord, that everyone will be found out of their secret places tonight. Comfort, your word of comfort will come. Illumination will follow your word. And it will bring about a torrential change in the life of each and every one of us tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Life difficult situations and circumstances. Life difficult circumstances, O oh Lord. Revelation knowledge will come through your word tonight. Revelation will come through our prayer session tonight. Revelation knowledge will come to every sphere of our life and people will not live here the same way they have come tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that your power will be available to visit in a different way tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Yima se ruban ke dumba leben ruba sara bakuda. Jeme du ruba sara bakunda balimbe ruban de rubara. Re me kuda balimbe ruban se ruban kadembe ruban rebetura. E jima di ben luba re me suru bakada. Kaji me du ban lebe ru makan de ben luba re me suru bakada. Keke ji marila lima dara bakuda. E di mate ben luba re be kuda balimbe. Yama re me suru ban ke dum balimbe ru batara bakuda. Pe yu masara bakanda balimbe ru bande rubar. Ye me suru bakanda balimbe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ye mase ru ban ke dum balimbe ru badara bakada. Ye me suru bakadaba lime tere bekidi. E se me jubande belumba re me kuda balira. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight because we know that your power and your presence is here tonight. To do us good and to touch our life and to visit us in a different way tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye mase ruban ke dembe luban rebesara. Eji madara bakunda balimbe ru matara bakuda. Mese be jubande belura. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. We are going to start praying for the church and we are going to be praying for ourselves and the leadership. Second Corinthians 7, 1 says, Have therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of the Lord. I want you to begin to ask the Lord to purify your life with his fire and with his Holy Ghost. Hey, and purify the life of our leaders even in this ministry. Every aspect of our ministry that the power of the Lord will purify our life and will wash us of any form of uncleanness and filthiness in our life. The scripture says our righteousness is like a fitting rag before him. I want us to act consciously tonight that the Lord will purify your life. I want you to 
Personalize that word to yourself tonight. That the Lord will purify your life. Every form of uncleanliness. Every fleshy manifestation in your spirit, in your body. That the Holy Ghost will cleanse you of such tonight. And perfect everything that concerns you and I. In the name of Jesus. In the same vein, I want you to begin to ask that the spirit of the living God will purify our leaders. Everyone in the position of leaders in our ministry. That the purifying power of the Lord will come upon them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Clearly, O oh Lord, that you will perfect them in the fear of the Lord. Every step of the way. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will cleanse them, you will grant them wisdom, understanding, knowledge that is required all in the fear of the Lord for them to pardon the affairs of the ministry and pardon the affairs of their department and where they have been given position to head. In the name of the Lord Jesus, ye masse ruban de ben luba remekada balira. Esi maji ben duba lembe rubakada. Malachi 3.3 3 says, And he shall sit as a reviner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi. Purge them as gold and silver. And they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. I want you to ask the Lord to pour afresh his spirit of knowledge, wisdom, understanding in our assembly. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will refine our life, He will purify us, He will open our lives to knowledge, to understanding, to be able to live a life of righteousness, which is the intentions of God for you and I. In the name of Jesus, as you are praying it for yourself, I want you to pray for the leaders from the pastorates to head of ministries and to the leaders of the assembly as a whole. That the Lord will constantly purify their life. He will strengthen their faith, strengthen their inner man every step of the way. In the name of the Lord Jesus, ye masara bakuda, the spirit of knowledge, understanding and wisdom will come unto you and come unto every one leader in this ministry. That they will be able to follow the ordinances of God to manage every growth that we achieve in this place by his grace. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, ye masara bakunda balira, there are a required level of knowledge, understanding for every level of growth. The Lord, we, we grant it unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to consciously ask the Lord to intervene for us and take control of every aspect at all times in the name of the Lord Jesus. Masi belumba remekuda baila, esi maji bendu beru maderu bakada, padi me suban beruba, his fresh spirit will, pour, will be poured upon us. Fresh oil, fresh anointing upon everyone in the assembly in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye maser rubanka da ban liberu madara bakuda. Ye me si rubanke dembe luban rebedura. E si madara bakunda balimbe rubande rubale. E si me jubande belura. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye me su rubanka damba liben rubadila. Ese me de bentu ruban kadamba li ben ruba de ruba se lubaka. In the mighty name of Jesus, Isaiah 11, 2 to 4 says, He said, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Talking about the child Jesus, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And he shall, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of eye of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the heart. And he shall smite the head with the rod and of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. What I'm saying to us tonight is that the Spirit of the Lord will. Come upon every one of us to be able to grant us the requisite knowledge and understanding that we need to walk in line with the will of the Lord so that we begin to grow in our wisdom, in our knowledge, in our understanding so 
much that we will be a good followers, even to our leaders in the ministry. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Ye masay ruban ke dembe luban rebetura. Eji madara bakanda balimbe ruban de rubasa. Ramade belum madembe luban rebesura. Ye mesara bakunda balira. Pedi matara bakunda badimbe luban rebesura. I want you to begin to ask that the Spirit of the Lord will visit our church with his, in His mercy and grace in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye must say, Ruban Kedembe Luban Rebedula, out of Apostle chapter 8, verse 14, says, Now when the apostles were at Jerusalem, had Samaria and had received the word of the Lord, that the Spirit of the Lord came upon them. I want you to, to, to ask that this grace and the spirit of grace, grace and mercy will come upon our lives and we'll be able to walk in line with the will and the purpose of God every step of the way in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ye must say, Ruban Kedembe Luban Rebesara, Eji Made Ben Luba Remeduru Basara Bakuda, Kanka di Beturu Bakanda Balimbe Ruban Sarabaka, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to begin to pray right now for the outreaches that we are going to be having in the course of the year. I want you to begin to speak specifically that the Lord in his mercy will send reaper angels ahead of us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. He will visit every of those programs, every step of the way and make a remarkable difference for us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ye mesuru bakanda balimbe rubanda raba esi maji bendu balera ri makanda balimbe rubanda rebente rubaka ah ye masheru bakanda balira esi madi ben lubare meturu bakanda balira father we ask so oh lord concerning every soul that you have prepared and you have positioned oh lord to benefit and to come into your kingdom through this program that your power will go ahead oh lord and they will be touched. Their feet and their foot will be directed. And they will have an, a contact with this program. And their heart and their soul and their body. You will visit ahead and prepare them for your kingdom. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye must say, Ruban ke dembe luban re mesura. Eji ma de ben luba re medere bekunda balimbe rubadila. Ese me jubande belura. Ah, we ask, O oh Lord, that your reaping angels will go ahead of us. Ah, and mobilize the multitude ahead of us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. You will announce, your angels will announce our coming. And it will make the job to be so easy for us in line with your will. In the name of Jesus. The scripture says, no one cometh unto the Father except you draw them. We ask, O oh Lord, that souls will be drawn to the kingdom. There is this program, so Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. It will not just be another program. It will be a program in which there will be manifestations of your power. Signs and wonders will follow in the mighty name of Jesus. People will go after what they want, but thou, O oh Lord, you will seek them out and you will bring them to your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. The provision that is available will just be a vehicle through which their lives will be drawn into the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. This is our, this is our heart desire, O oh Lord, that you will use this program, O oh Lord, to supernaturally order their feet into, the, into your kingdom in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye must say, Ruban Kedumba Leberuba, Eji Madara Bakunda Balira, Yeme suru banka da ban liberuba, ramakanda balimbe rubande rubasa. Every form of interferences in their way and on the way of the planning and all the and the program, we come against in the name of Jesus and we say, O oh Lord, that nothing will stand in the way of the growth of the, your work in the kingdom. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we say they will not be distracted. Nothing will stand in their way. It, there shall be a thorough fear to the kingdom as we approach them in this with this program and plan. 
because you place it in our mind and you have a purpose for it, O Lord. Therefore, that purpose will be established and so many souls, O Lord, will be drawn into the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Ye Masara Bakunda Balira. Father, we ask, O Lord, that you will visit our assembly with your notable miracles that what the people see, O Lord, we naturally draw them to the kingdom in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Make our lives, O oh Lord, a sign and a wonder. The Lord will help you and he will make your life a sign and a wonder around you so that people that see the wonders of the Lord in your life will come and seek the God that you serve in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye masse de kende belura. Father, we sent forth your mobilizing angels ahead that everyone that will come in contact with this program will be drawn in by your power and your strength, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare it a successful outing for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Many souls will be brought into this assembly and into your kingdom, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. This is our heart desire, Lord. And we lift it before you tonight. That thou, O oh Lord, we see it through. And all glory and honor shall be unto your holy name. Thank you, precious Father. For we are prayed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. The Lord will surely help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. He will multiply us. And we will not be few. In the name of Jesus, his power will be available. He will make wonders out of our lives. That the lives around us will see the light of God. And they will be drawn into the kingdom of the Most High God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I, I want us to pray for our nation tonight. Like I said when we started, I'm going to read about four or five verses. And verse by verse, we are going to be declaring the word of the Lord. It's Psalm 122 that everybody knows. We are starting from verse 6. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. In brackets, it says the holy city. I'm referring that holy city to Nigeria. Please permit me to put it there. Verse, two, verse 7 says, may peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. Verse 8 says, for my brethren... And companion's sake, I will now say, peace be within you. And verse 9 says, for the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek, inquire for and require your good. I want us to start from verse 6. I want you to begin to declare as you are reading it. Begin to declare the peace of God upon our nation. I, I want you to, you know that thing came with a with, with a benefit after it. He said, may they prosper who love you. What I'm saying, what the scripture is telling you and I that your prosperity is tied to that of your nation. And you must love your nation anyhow to prosper within it. I, I want you to begin to declare tonight that the peace of the Lord will rule in our land. Uh, like we always say that it doesn't matter what you are seeing around you. That's what you can see with your physical eye. God is working on behalf of his children in the land of Nigeria. You may not see it physically. I therefore want you to begin to declare tonight that the peace of God will reign in our land in every sphere of our nation and every nook and craning of this nation in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to begin to declare the peace of God upon Nigeria tonight. I want you to speak that the peace of the Lord will reign in the north. It will reign in the south. It will reign in the east and the west. It doesn't matter how far gone it looks. There is nothing our God cannot turn around. There is nothing he cannot change. Therefore, we declare according to your word, Lord, that peace of the Lord will reign in our land. Nigeria is our own Jerusalem. And therefore, we declare that your peace will reign in our land. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Verse 7 says, may peace be within your walls. Hey, concerning Nigeria, every walls, every gate in our nation, we declare the peace of God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We say the peace of God, hey, we reign within the walls of our nation. 
within the gates of our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. The prosperity we be within in our palaces, in our homes, in our lives, according to the word of the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ye maseru ban kedembe luban rebesura ramakanda ban liberuba. Hey, prosperity within our palaces and our homes and our lives. We will experience the prosperity of the Lord in the land of the living. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye pese lubanre mekuda balira. Eji madara bakunda balimbe rubande ruban sarabaka. Kaka si bejuri matara bakuda. Messi bejuru bakanda balira. Father, your word says, for my brethren and companions' sake, I will say now, peace be within your within you. We therefore declare peace be within you, the land of Nigeria, in the name of the Lord Jesus. For the sake of the children of God in the land of Nigeria, the peace of God will reign in this land. We declare tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye makada banli beru masara bakada. Je meduru baseru makanda balimbe rubadila. Ese me jubande belu mare mekuda. Asi me jubande belu mare mekida. Father, we seek your face, O Lord. We inquire of you tonight that your peace we require upon our nation. And we ask, O Lord, that your peace we reign. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Mande be lubanre mekuda baila, esi majara bakunde belumbare meturu bakada, ye be lu masara bakanda, ye me ju badan rebenku di banle beru masara bakuda, ji maderu bakanda balimbe rubande rubali, e ye me suru banka dembe lubanre mesera, e dia be lubanre mentu rubaka. Bambe shuru banke dumba lebenru badila. The scripture says for the sake of the poor and the oppressed in the land. Father, you will visit these nations and grant us peace and save your people. You will save them from the oppression of the oppressors, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Yima se rubanka da ban liberuba. Ben ye bejuru bakanda bayila. Meluma de benru makanda balimbe yumante rubaka. Esi majara bakunda balimba. Ye mesuru bakanda balimbe ru madara bakuda. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare concerning our nation, O Lord, that your power will come down upon this nation. Hey, everyone that are holding our nation to ransom, we bring them under the judgment of the Most High tonight. And we say your hand will visit them, O Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we call upon the God of heaven and earth that in the name of Jesus, everyone that has made themselves to become a pillager of our nation, who sit down in different corners to pillage this nation, O Lord, we bring them under the judgment of the Most High tonight. And we say, O Lord, that every of their intentions will come to naught concerning Nigeria. Only your will will be done in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The scripture says in Job 8.20, Behold, God will not cast away the blameless, nor will he, up, will he uphold the evil doers. All the evil doers in our land who hold our nation to ransom. Your word says you will not uphold the evil doers, O Lord, and that you will not cast away the blameless for the sake of the blameless in our nation, O Lord. We ask that you will stretch forth your hand of judgment upon every evil doers in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, they will be cut off in their craftiness, Lord, and your will will be done. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye masse rubanke dembe luban rebesura. Ramakanda balimbe rubanda rabali. Father, according to your word, O Lord. Hey, you will not uphold the evil doers in Nigeria. From now on, O Lord, your judgment will come upon them. And this nation will be free from their hostage. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye masse rubanka damba liben rubadira. Eh, hey, yo masara bakunda balira. Ji mase rubanka da ban liberu matara bakuda. Kese me jubande beluba. Edi mata ban liberu makanda balira. Romans 2 verse 8 and 9 says, 
but to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignations and wrath, tribulation, tribulations and anguish on every soul of man who does evil, of Jew first and also of the Greek. Tonight we bring them under the strong hand of the law. We say all the evil doers in our land, we bring them under the strong hand of the law. And we say their enterprises are frustrated and it comes to naught concerning the activities in this nation. Only the will of the Lord will be done in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Remember your word, O Lord, that you will save the prey from the mighty. He says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty and the lawful captive be delivered. But thus says the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee and I will save their children, thy children and I will fill them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, I am thy savior and thy redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. I want you to begin to declare the word of the Lord that it doesn't matter how powerful they think they are. The Lord is able to deliver our nation and save his own from their hold, from their, from their hold in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ramake Duban Liberu. Arise, O Lord, and perform your word in our land. Free up our land, O Lord, from this oppressors everywhere. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Yimase Ruban Kadembe Luban Remedura. Esi Madara Bakunda Balimbe Rubadila. Eye me jubande beluma remendu balira. Man kadembe lubanre mesere bekuda. E ye masara bakuda. Medi me tu banle beru masara bakuda. E yo maseru bakanda balira. Ye masara bakunda balimbe rubande rubaka. Ka ye me jubande belura. Jeremiah 30 16 says, Therefore, all those who defy you shall be devoured, and all, you all your adversaries and every one of them shall go into captivity. Those who plunder you shall become plunder, and all who pray upon you. I will make a prey. This is the word of the Lord concerning our nation. Every one of them that plunder our nation in one way or the other. They will be touched with the hand of judgment of the Most High. He will make them pray in the same land in which they have hold everyone captive. In the name of Jesus. Father, this is our desire. That you will turn around the captivity of our nation, Lord. And we will be like they that dream it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mansi belu mbare mekuda. Eji made belu barema. Honor your word, O oh Lord, tonight. And for everyone that has hold Nigeria to ransom in any way. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Pandi belu bare mekuda. Everyone plundering our nation, Lord. Ah, in one way or the other. Let every of the activities come to naught. In the name of Jesus. Ye must say Rubanke Dumba Leben Rubadila. AJ may do ban leberu masara bakuda. Kandi ben lubare meturu bakada. Say me ju badembe luban remedura. Father, we thank you because we know that it doesn't matter how far the devil has gone. Our nation will be delivered from the hand of the captors and the Lord will take control and your name will be glorified concerning Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we are confident, O oh Lord, that when we ask, O oh Lord, you answer us. So shall it be concerning our land. This, our nation will know peace in the name of Jesus. Your peace will reign in our land in the name of Jesus. Prosperity in our land in the name of Jesus. Father, you will turn around our captivity, O Lord, and we will be like they that dream it. Thank you, O Lord, for answer prayer tonight. Thank you, O Lord, for your goodness to us. We give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. I want you to open your Bible with me to First Chronicles tonight. 
you are going to start praying for yourself. And I'm just going to read two verses. And it's a popular verse that all of us know. It's the story of Jabez. I just read it again and again this morning. Just two verses. The story of this man is so very, very interesting. Two verses in the Bible. And he spoke volume. Uh, it's just four prayer points that we're going to raise from there. And we're going to round up the prayer. But I'm going to read verse 9 and 10. First Chronicle 4. I know we know it, but I'm going to read it. I'm reading from a divine fashion. It says, Jabez was honorable above his brothers. But his mother named him Jabez, in brackets, sorrow maker. Saying, because I have bore him in pain. Verse 10. Jabez cried to the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and you will keep me from evil, so it might not hurt me. And God granted his request. If you look at the two verses that I read to you, it is the totality, it is summary of the totality of the life of that man called Jabez. And what surprised me was that the scripture started by describing what happened in the end from verse 9. Now it gave us a clue of how it started in the second verse. I, I, I hope you get what I'm saying. So what I'm saying tonight is that I don't know what your challenges are. But we are going to take his prayer one by one. And I will employ you to just apportion it to your life. You know your situation better than anybody else. He says that you will bless me. One thing Jabez realized is that he was in a helpless situation. His mother has given him that name, pain. Make sorrow maker. I'm sure everybody knows him by that name. And so he must have looked around that there is no help for him anywhere. And he could see that even among his brethren, he was actually nothing to reckon with. If you check the content of his prayer, you will see that. I don't know what confused situation you are. That you know that in this situation, only God can help me. Only God can sort you out. I want you to cry to the Lord tonight. He has God to bless him. Because he knows that only God can set him free. For your information, he did not ask for just physical blessing. If you look at it very well. The blessing that he's asking for is both physical and spiritual. That everything around him will turn around from sorrow to good. So tonight, I want you to begin to ask the Lord. That thou, as we, O Lord, will bless me. You begin to ask God for a blessing of his blessing in your relationship with people. Your, in your compassionate attitude to others. It's not just about physical blessing that this man prayed for. It is totality of his being that he prayed for in that prayer. And that's why I want you to look at it tonight and begin to ask the Lord with clear understanding that the Lord will bless you both spiritually and physically. And it will make you, it will bless you with peace of mind. That's the spiritual angle of it. Because it needs to be, you need to be settled in your mind to be able to even conquer or face anything. So I want you to begin to declare tonight that the Lord will bless you. That thou, O oh Lord, will bless me. Both physically and spiritually. Bless me, O oh Lord, with your peace in my mind. Bless me, O oh Lord, with a compassionate heart. Bless me, O oh Lord, physically in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to appropriate it to every sphere of your life tonight and begin to ask that the God of heaven and earth, the supremacy of his hand is all you require and all you are asking for tonight to visit your life in a different way so that your story will change just like the story of Jabez. The mother named him Sorrow. Sorrow maker. That's the, mean, that's, that's the literary meaning that was written 
in one of the coconut that I read. read. I, I, and I imagine that somebody, because you, you gave back to him in pain and they become something, but well, the, in, in some of the coconut, they say that is the way they do. They use events to name children. But that is stuck on him until he came to his, himself and he began to call upon the only person that can intervene. And that is the maker of the heaven and the earth. I, I want you to call upon him tonight. If, if you look at the second verse, second line, it says, and enlarge my territory. I'm sure many of us, when we see that, what we see is immediate territory, like gathering a physical land. No. What he's asking God to do is to enlarge everything about him, both internal and physical. In fact, mostly is the spiritual territory. That's why the Lord, God Almighty, told Abraham that he should come out and look and see everywhere that his eyes can see. I am aware that we know that the spiritual eyes is what Abraham is being exposed to that night. That as long as you can see. So what this man was praying for is not just physical land. If it's physical land, it will just be within the country where he was that time. But he's talking about spiritual territory. That his eyes of understanding will be enlightened. He will be able to see the provision of God for his life. That's what I'm asking and trying to let you understand tonight. That you will ask that your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. And that the Lord will enlarge your territory. Both physically and spiritually. Your eyes will be able to see in line with the plan and the purpose of God. Op ask God to open your eyes and to help you and enlarge your vision. That's what I'm saying in essence tonight. That the territory we are talking about is not physical. That the territory of his heart will be opened. That it may flow and flow to other people around you. Not just for you alone. That's the kind of vision that the man is looking at. That the Lord will open up his heart, open up his vision. He will be able to see bigger than his immediate environment. In the name of Jesus, you and I never met Jabez. But we are reading about him today. He was part of his answered prayer that night. That he said, oh Lord, open my eyes. Help me, oh Lord. Enlarge my territory beyond what you can think or imagine. That's what I want you to ask the Lord to do. To open your eyes to tonight. And the help of God will come your way. You will not be limited by your environment. In the mighty name of Jesus. As long as your eyes can see it. As long as you can envision it. You will have it. That is the word of the Lord. I want you to hold God by his word tonight. Hey, in the mighty name of Jesus. The next line says, let your hand be with me. Jabez recognized how limited human beings are. It doesn't matter how powerful they are. Even if they promise you heaven and earth, they are limited as long as they are human beings. So he turned to the makers of the heaven and the earth and he says that every human being, no matter who they are, we are feeble in nature. That's what he realized and he turned to his maker and he began to declare that, the Lord, that let your hand be with me. If the hand of the Lord is upon your life, he will, he, he, our God is all powerful. So he's asking God to be the one to guide him, to be the one to direct his step, to be the one to hold him throughout the journey of life. That's what he's saying. He's making a conscious effort to hand over his entire being and entire activities to God. That your hand, O oh Lord, will be upon me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. That in line with your will, O oh Lord, I recognize that you are the only one that can guide me through this wilderness of this life. And I will go through it by your grace and your power successfully. He's asking the Lord to guide him all the way in the name of Jesus. Without God, without the hand of God in our life, there is absolutely nothing any man can achieve. There is absolutely nothing any man can do. So therefore, I just want you to ask that the hand of the Lord, you will ask that the hand of the Lord will come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, help is with you 
all the way. That's what that means. Help of God is with you. You will surely find help as long as you keep yourself under the secret place of the Most High and His hand is upon your life. I want you to consciously ask the Lord for His hand upon your life tonight. I want you to consciously ask Him to, for His hand to be upon you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye masara bakanda baliba. Esi madi ben lubare mekede belura. Ask him for his help in all spheres of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Ask him that his hand will guide you. It will be upon you. It will be upon every member of your household. It will be upon the work of your hand. It will be upon your venture. Everything that you do, the hand of the Lord will be upon it. His help will be available to you. Every step of the way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ye masse rumanka da ban liberuba. E ye masara bakunda baliba. Ye mesuru bakanda balimbe du ban liberuba. Ye mesuru banka damba liberu matara bakuda. Asi maji bendu balera. Eri matara bakunda balimbe ru ban sarebeke. Esi maji bendu balera. Father, with the outstretch of your hand, O Lord. E you led your children out of Israel. The strong hand of the Lord. Oh, he saw we desire tonight that we be upon our life and guide us every step of the way in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ye masare bekunda balira. Eji ma de ben lubare metere bekuda. Kandi ben lu matara bakanda bayimbe lubasila. Eti ma jibendu balira. Father, let your help, oh Lord, come our way every step of the way. Baba, in this second half of the year, we look unto you for help in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Let your help come our way, Lord. Let your hand be upon us as we move in this second half of the year in the mighty name of Jesus. The last line in that prayer says, keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. What I'm, what, <laughs> what, what, the way I just want you to see tonight is that his own pain is his name that is associated with pain. And he is making an announcement to God, renouncing that pain, that he doesn't want to be associated with sorrow and pain anymore. I don't know what name people have called you secretly. I don't know what name you have been described by. I don't know what name you have been called. I don't know how people... You perceive that people see you. Some even says you to your hearing. I, I want you to call upon God and renounce such tonight. Such awful names. Such awful experiences. Such horrible shame. Things that you cannot in any way be proud of. But the devil makes sure you constantly go through it. I, I want you to call upon the God of heaven and earth. Just like Jabez did tonight. That thou, O Lord, in your own way, we take away, oh Lord, this particular thing and free me from the pain, from this shame, from this lack, from this shame, from this all sorts, whatever it is. It may be sickness. It may be anything. I want you to begin to call upon the Lord tonight and begin to call upon him that thou, oh Lord, will free me up from this shame, oh Lord. And you will keep me free from this pain. In the mighty name of Jesus. I, I want you to call upon God tonight. Make a conscious effort all tonight. And declare that the strength of God will come unto you from your inner man. Ah, and liberate you from every of such oppression. Of any form, of any shape. In the name of Jesus. The scripture says, He became more honorable. More than his brethren. His brethren. What that means is that people could now see that his life was transformed. That means that they were comparing him with where they knew he was before. That's exactly what that, those two verses of the Bible is saying to us. That there was a transformation. The glory of God showed forth in his life and he could not be hidden. That's what we are saying tonight. That the glory of the Lord will show forth in your life. In the remaining day, from this day on, and the remaining days of this year, and lights will come into every dark areas of our lives, individually and collectively. 
I, I want you to ask the Lord for light in every of those dark areas tonight. The testimonies will flood in in this house. Signs and wonders will become a common occurrence here. People will see, and the people of the world will see, the glory of God shining through you and I. And they will seek the God that we serve. They will seek to serve the God that we serve in the name of Jesus. I want you to make a conscious effort this night. Like I said, when we started, we praying for yourself to round up the meeting tonight. I want you to consciously pray for yourself and say, oh Lord, this second half of the year will be better than my first half. Much better for me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a flood, an overflow that will not only be a blessing to me, but will touch lives around me in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to consciously ask the Lord tonight, wherever you are, wherever you are watching us from, trust the Lord tonight. The scripture said the Lord answered Jabez and transformed his life. Your story will change in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Before we go again tonight, we are praying for the service. But I want you to consciously prepare your hearts for the word of God tonight. And I want you to pray to the Lord that I have come with great expectation tonight, Lord. I desire, O oh Lord, that you will visit me tonight in your word. It will not just be another night. It will be a night in which you will give me instruction, Lord. I yield myself, my spirit, my soul, my body to everything that you are proposed to do in this place in my life tonight. And I ask only that only your will will be done in my life. In the name of Jesus. I want you to consciously ask the Lord tonight. Yield your soul, your spirit, and your body to the word that will be sent forth to you tonight. That the, hand, the power of the Lord will follow such word into your life. It will find you out. It will give you direction. It will give you understanding. It will not just be another word. The Lord will back it up with his power. And he will perform that which is sent forth for. In your lives. In my lives. In the life of every one. Even watching us online. In the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord will be glorified. All praises, thanksgiving will be unto his holy name. We give you thanks and we give you praise tonight. We acknowledge you, O Lord, and we yield this service unto you that thy hand, O Lord, will take it over in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father, for we are prayed in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, and I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Help me, help me say, because of who you are, I give you glory. 
Because of who you are, I give you praise. Oh, because of who you are, and I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you. of you because of who you are I give you glory Lord because of you because of who you are I give you praise Our 
crowns before you. We lift our hands and we bow our hearts because that is all we've come to do this evening.
Let's just worship him. Let's worship him. Give him the praise and the glory. Just magnify his name. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless him. Just bless him. Give him the praise and the glory. Lift up your hands and be free in his presence. Give him all that is you. Exalt him for another day. Just bless him. Thank him. We give you praise. We give you praise. We honor you. We exalt you. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise from our hearts. We give you glory and honor. We worship you. It's pressure everywhere. But in your presence, there is renewal. We thank you for you renew our youth like an eagle. You point to us every day. Turn us, O oh Lord, and fill us with your presence that makes a difference. We thank you. Rain upon us, shower down upon us. Let your counsel be fulfilled in our lives. May we not be carried, O oh Lord, away with the things of this life. May we have a meaning of everything. May the things of God be more important to us in this age and this time. Live through us. Make us good examples, a witness for your kingdom. All that bother us, we cast them before you tonight. For you said in your word, we should cast our bodies upon you and you will sustain us. Sustain us tonight. We know you care for us. And so touch all those things that touch us so that we can serve you. Thank you, Father. Just lift up your hands and bless him again. Just bless him. Just bless him. Just bless him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You can have your seats. I want to appreciate all of you tonight for being here. We've had two weeks of coming almost every day and the traffic is not letting up. 